Praise, praise be to the Most High, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is Lord. So today I have another exciting message that's that's burning inside that I, I you know, I'm excited to share. I'm excited to put it out there. Um, the message today is going to be on um, the the listen and hear with the sword, man. And I'm going to be reading from my from my iPad and I'm gonna be the book's gonna be first Timothy four one Mark four twenty four Exodus thirty two one and John sixteen twelve through fifteen um so first Timothy four one the spirit clearly says that in, in later times some will abandon the faith abandon the faith and follow the deceiving spirit and things taught by demons. Friends, whatever, the Bible is a book of promises, principles, principles, promises, and prophecies. So if it's, if the Bible sa says it, it will happen. This is prophetic. Um, for example, in Luke one thirty seven, it said, For the word of God never fails. So therefore, what we need to do, especially in these times, is to consider carefully what we hear. And this is mentioned in Mark 4.24. In addition, Luke 8.18, it said, consider carefully how you listen. So I'm just going to reemphasize in those. Consider carefully what you hear and consider carefully how you listen. Then it go on to say, Whosoever has, whosoever has will be given more, and whosoever does not have, even what they think they have, will be taken from them. Um, remember the story in Matthew 13 about the sower and the seeds? So the sower in the story, my understanding is, the sower is God and the seeds are the word. And depending on the soil that the seed falls on, that depends on um, the growth of the seed and um, the nurturing of the seed. For instance, some of the seed fell on on um, rocky ground, which did not grow. Some of the seed fell along the path, birds eat it. Some of the seed fell among thorn, and it got squeezed, crushed by all the life's trouble. And some of the seed that fell on, on fertile ground yield um, yield of 30, 60, 30, 60, and 100 falls. So, again, we have to be careful how we hear, how we listen, and what we hear. And make sure that when the seed is planted, it's, it's planted on... on fertile ground and not superficial ground so that we can easily be deceived and fall away from the faith. Uh, I'm going to continue on. So you can you can go ahead and read, finish reading that story up in Matthew 18. It's a great story, um, great parable, but has a lot of significance um, to understand the mystery of Christ and the mystery of of, of the kingdom. Um, for for example, in Exodus Exodus thirty two one, after Moses brought the people out of Egypt, uh, while while they were while after they came out of Egypt, Moses went back up to Mount Sinai um, because of impatience. The people wanted to to make themselves um, a god for themselves. So they start worshiping idols. I'm just going to go ahead and read it. So when the people, and this is Exodus 32, 1. When the people saw that Moses was long in coming down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said, Come make us a god who will go before us. As for this fellow Moses who brought us up out of Egypt, we don't know what happened to him. That's that's so beloved. That's how easy it is to go astray. Imagine they came out of the desert. They saw all the miracles. Yet 
they were deceived, yet they had doubts. Obviously, God was not God was not pleased, and other atrocities happened following following that period of time. However, John John sixteen twelve through fifteen give us hope. And this is this is Jesus in the book of John prior explaining to his disciple why he should leave. So here it goes. He said, I have much more to say to you, more than you can now bear. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, that's the Holy Spirit. When you save, you ask the Father for the Holy Spirit, and he'll give you the Holy Spirit. Many references in, in, this, in the scripture said, um, Ask and it shall be given. Knock and it shall be opened. Seek and you shall find. So ask, repent and ask for the Holy Spirit and it shall be given to you. So, But, but when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. Helps us to discern. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears. He will only speak what he hears from Jesus. <clears throat> and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will glorify me, that is Jesus, because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. And, okay, so 15, I'm reading John 16, now I'm at 15. All that belongs to the Father is mine, is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will receive from me what he will make known to you. So, brothers and sisters, there is hope. There's always hope in Jesus. There's always a way. Um, the Word of God goes without fail. Um, it's all in God, God master design. Of course, he's the creator of everything. Um, reference Psalm 24. We we could never go wrong um, putting our faith in the Father. In the book of um, John, I want to say John eleven twenty two. I'm pretty sure um, Jesus said, "Have faith in God." So therefore, beloved, we also should have faith in God. Have a pleasant day and happy happy learning. And don't forget when when we pray, when you pray, make sure you ask the Holy Spirit, for understanding and discernment. Have a Christ-filled day, guys. Till the next video. Bye.